Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be updating my pin board with a bunch of pins that I've bought recently. Um, so if you want to see that, see which ones I've got, then keep on watching. Okay, so I first of all started with like separating and like opening all of the pins that I've got. So I've got the four um, extra Funko ones from my previous video, I think went up last week. I'm really, really rubbish at remembering <laughs> when they actually went up, but I think it was last week. Um, so I've got those to go in. Then I've got a bunch more Harry Potter ones. Um, some of these you would have seen from the studio tour video that I did. Um, most of those, if not all of those, I think I took off the packaging. So like that one there, or those two there, um, were both from the studio tour. Um, but there's a bunch that I buy from a shop in Norwich um, called Cosmic Joe's. Um, I buy loads from there. Literally every time I go in, I buy at least one. It's normally like four or five though, <laughs> or sometimes more than that, depending on which ones I go for. So that like grape soda one there, um, I was looking for that for ages. I found that in Cosmic Joe's. Um, some of them are just really little random ones that I bought from Vinted. Um, I was having like a little look on there really um, because it was just recently um, my boyfriend Ben's birthday on the 21st of October. So um, I went in there because he really likes looking at the pins but hasn't got like a board of his own or anything. So I bought him like a little mini board, literally like a fraction of the size of mine um, and I bought him some pins as well. So I bought basically all of those from Vinted um, bar maybe one or two. Um, but yeah, I find that you can find absolutely loads on there and they're super cheap and they're literally like brand new, like still in the packaging or they just, you know, look absolutely perfect. So I don't really see the sort of need to buy brand new ones when people sell like what they deem as second hand on Vinted for like a fraction of the price. So if that's sort of something that, you know, you struggle with like the pricing of pins and whatever else, I definitely recommend going on to Vinted because some of these pins I definitely did pay a little bit too much money for <laughs> like the um, jelly cat ones that I just put in so those ones I bought separately on Vinted um, I think I bought all three for like £10 like not each but like £10 for all three um, and then I ended up going to um, the jelly cat fish and chip thing in Selfridges anyway so I bought them and then I ended up getting the pins again so I sold the other set that I had um, but yeah the other jelly cat ones that I bought for example the like just the jelly cat like logo and then I also bought the 25th anniversary one so the jelly cat like head logo one I bought in a store and I think that was like 15 pound and then I think I paid a similar price for the 25 one um, and I bought that on Vinted. So yeah, I definitely have paid quite a bit of money for some of these pins. Obviously like the studio tour ones, um, I think they range anywhere from like four, five, six pound up, up to like 12, 15, 16 pound. Um, I don't think I have any that are that expensive, um, but I, I'm almost certain that the, um, I think it was the train one that says like welcome back to Hogwarts like or return to Hogwarts or whatever like 1st of September I'm almost certain that one was like £12 or something I might be completely lying but I have a feeling that that one was a little bit more expensive um, but yeah I just kind of go with whatever I like um, because I feel like they kind of balance out anyway because I've got a bunch on here that I've bought like I said like from Cosmic Joe's they have a board there where every pin on it is like £2.99 um, so most of most of the ones that I've bought from there have been from that board I have bought some from the more expensive board like uh, Mrs Potts and Chip I think was from the more expensive board but that's because they're like two pins in one um, so for the most part they kind of balance each other out um, and like I say I bought quite a few on Vinted so I think from one person I bought about eight or nine pins and it cost me like five or six quid so they're not even like a pound each at that point so I kind of justify it like that I feel like it kind of makes me feel better about spending like 25 pound on one pin or like 15 20 
25 pound on one pin um, i think there's only a couple that i've done that with to be fair but it definitely does make you feel a little bit better um when you've got some that are the complete polar opposite and are super super cheap um but yeah i've got quite a quite a mixture this time um as i'm doing the voiceover i'm literally looking at the board like in front of me like not what's on the screen basically um and yeah there was definitely a mixture this time so i've got quite a few like harry potter ones i just i don't really put well i haven't put any on since the first video that i did um so i've got quite a big mixture like i say i've got the jelly cat ones i've got harry potter ones i had one from lush um the door that is like just underneath the 25 logo and like next to the banana if you can see it <laughs> that's from lush so that's um to symbolize the first ever store that they had um so i bought that i thought that was really cool um then i've just got some like generic disney ones like the one that i just put in i think i just put it in the um apple juice one that's obviously from snow white uh snow white yeah snow white I'm really doubting myself now but I feel like Snow White is correct <laughs> um, and then yeah I've got a couple little ducks um, the one that I just put in was the evil queen like playing card one um, which I thought was really cool um, and then I just got some like really random ones as well um, I had one from a shop called dogfish that's in Norwich there's dogfish and then that's like a male clothing brand or well, not brand but shop and then um, their like female counterpart, I guess, is um, called Catfish. Um, but it's only actually Dogfish that have the pins, which is quite annoying because I would like to have both. Um, but I haven't actually put it in yet, I don't think. No, I haven't. I haven't put it in yet. But when I do put it in, it ends up near the uh, Return to Hogwarts one. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just have some more random ones like there was a little spider um the one that i'm just putting in now is like a little monster covered in paint um there was a little poly pocket one which i absolutely loved i had so many poly pockets when i was younger um so yeah there was a real mixture this time um and i really liked that about this one to be fair because the first one that i did although i had some like really random ones they were all kind of similar to each other most of them were like disney or harry potter like for the most part um but yeah this one i had a little bit more of a range and we covered quite a lot of the board now um and you'll see it in the outro i don't think I don't think it had happened at this point um if you'll see it in the outro i accidentally dropped my phone on the board and there's now like a massive dent in the board so when i get down to that point i'm gonna have to see whether i can actually cover it over with the pins or like whether or not they're actually going to sit in there because i'm not entirely sure they are actually going to sit in the gap in which case i feel like i'm going to have to buy a whole new board which is such a pain because i'm going to have to move all of these pins over again um but yeah hopefully we can kind of just cover it over um but at the minute i'm i'm really not convinced um but we shall see next time but if there are any that you any pins that you spot that you think i should get that would look cool on the board then please let me know um but yeah that's all of them this time okay so this is the pin board now um it's like really really top heavy now so i'm having to like lean it on my shoulder because if not i'm actually just going to drop it um but yeah this is the pin board now so we're about halfway done just about maybe a little bit <laughs> maybe a little bit less than halfway um but yeah i did accidentally drop my phone on it so i've now got like a little hole in it so i may end up having to buy a new pin board but either way um we will continue with this series might turn it into a series um when i get some more pins um so if you want to see that then comment down below let me know what your favorite ones were and what you think i should get in the future um but yeah other than that make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye, bye.